After watching this video, you should be able to describe how a transformer works, identify schematic symbols for transformers, identify the parts of a transformer, and calculate the values associated with transformers. Magnetism creates force lines which cannot be seen. The effects of the magnetic lines can be seen. Here we see a bar magnet. I also have a bunch of metal filings on a piece of paper. As I get this down towards the magnet, I want you to notice that it starts moving these particles around. It actually starts making these lines of magnetism that we talked about. Okay, you can see those lines of magnetism. Electromagnetism. Electric current flow through a wire will cause a magnetic field to form. A moving magnetic field will also cause electric current to flow through a wire or other conductor. I'm going to take a battery and a piece of wire. I'm going to hook it up. And I want you to see that it barely makes the needle move when I put the uh, wire on the battery. Wrapping a wire in a loop will increase its magnetic field. Several loops will create stronger fields. I'm then going to form it into a coil. And now I want you to see when I put this on the battery, it has more effect on the needle. Not a lot more, but it does have more, more effect on it. Adding a conductor in the coil will increase its effects even more. Now I'm going to put a bolt in there. These are the principles at work in a transformer. An alternating current is added to a coil of wire. It continually builds and collapses magnetic fields. An iron core runs through the coil and also through a secondary coil. As the field collapses, the magnetic field passes through the secondary coil and produces current flow in the secondary coil. Here we see common symbols for a transformer. First one is a step down transformer, then a step up transformer, and an auto transformer. Here we see a transformer. Secondary is its top, primary is on the bottom. Transformers have a label. You'll notice it says 40 VA. Transformers are rated by the secondary volt amps or power. Here you can see the primary and the secondary voltages. When we use the white and black on the primary, that's for 120 volts, and we'll get 24 volts out. That's a 5 to 1 ratio. If we have 208 volts, we'll use the red and white wire, and we'll get 24 volts out. That's about an 8 and 2 thirds to one ratio. If we have 240 volts, we use the white and orange, that's a 10 to 1 ratio. In a transformer, the power of the primary and secondary are virtually the same. Since transformers are rated by the power on the secondary and volt amps, we also know the power on the primary. Primary and secondary power are equal. On a step down transformer, the voltage goes down and the current goes up. In a step-up transformer, voltage goes up and current goes down. Here we see a transformer circuit. It's 1.5 to 1 ratio. You have 96 volts on the input and 500 milliamps secondary current. We figure out the secondary voltage by taking 1.5 times 96. To figure out the volt amps, we measure the volts times the amps and come up with 72 volt amps. It's going to be the same on the primary. If we take that and divide by 96, we come up with 750 milliamps. 
Now it's time to test your understanding. Grab a calculator. There will be five circuits to calculate. A countdown timer will show you when the answers will appear. So make sure you hit pause while making your calculations. Then release pause to see if you got the correct answers. We can see the 30 VA rating for the secondary. We can put that for the primary and secondary. To figure out the current on the primary, we take the volt amps, divide by 60 volts, and come up with 500 milliamps. To figure out the secondary voltage, we can do 30 divided by 1 amp to come up with 30 volts. 60 volts on the primary, 30 on the secondary, that's a 2 to 1 ratio. Thirty-six volt amps was given. That's our secondary volt amps. Divide that by 150 and that gives you 240 volts. It's a 6 to 1 ratio, so divide by 6, that gives you 40 volts on the primary. 36 divided by 40 equals 900 milliamps for primary current. Multiply 100 volts times 360 milliamps gives you 36 volt amps. Since it's a 2.5 to 1 ratio, we take the 100 divided by 2.5 and come up with 40. 40 goes into 36, 90 milliamps. We have 24 volt amps for primary, so that will be the secondary in total. 24 divided by 800 milliamps is 30 volts for the primary voltage. 24 volts divided by 90 volts is 266.6 milliamps for the secondary. Forty volt amps on primary and secondary. Forty divided by 333 milliamps is 120 volts. If we have 20 on the secondary, that would be a 6 to 1 ratio. Take the 40 divided by 20 volts to get 2 amps of current on the secondary. Since watching this video, you should be able to describe how a transformer works. Identify the schematic symbols for transformers identify the parts of a transformer, and calculate values associated with transformers. If you found this video useful, make sure you like, subscribe, or comment with any ideas that you might have for other topics.